Hello everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Burns, as you know. I'm about to make a beautiful mango, or orange mango shake. And I just thought that I would come and say hello and show you guys what I am eating today. Well, at least for now, for lunch, I started my day with some beautiful fresh watermelon juice. Oh my God, it was so good. I had about uh, just under a liter of that. And now I am hungry and ready for some beautiful, beautiful fruit. So welcome, come in, say hello, let me know if you're watching. It is uh, Sunday morning, yes it is. And we are gonna be starting our 10 day juice feast, our fruit feast actually is what I'm calling it, our fruit detox tomorrow. I'm gonna be going for 10 days. Hello, niece, how are you? So glad that you are here. What are you having for uh, for lunch today, babe? I am going to blend up these beautiful altufo mangoes and uh, about four beautiful large navel oranges. And I'm gonna blend it up into a smoothie and I've also got um, four medjool dates. So let's do that, but I wanted to just let everybody know that I'm getting ready to start this 10 day juice uh, feast tomorrow and I wanted to let, invite you guys to come along. Hi Dali. <laughs> I wanted you guys to um, jump in if you want to jump in because it's going to be so good for you. Such a good way to clean out the body and to reset ourselves to a healthier lifestyle or just continue on an already healthy lifestyle like I am doing. So yeah, so I am actually calling it a fruity detox because I'm going to say that if you want to, um, if you want to do this, there are different ways that you can really amplify your detox. And it doesn't necessarily have to be all juicing. You can do smoothies like I'm doing here. You can do, um, you can do juices. You can do a combination of, of juice and chewing food, chewing fruit. As long as you keep it fruit, I want us to strive for going all fruit to try to be fruitarians, to try to be frugivores for an entire 10 days. So it completely depends on whatever you want to do. So I want to encourage anybody who wants to jump on board and who wants to, um, you know, get a, a, a chance to sort of just restart yourself and clean yourself out a little bit. It's springtime still. Feels like summer here in Ontario, but it's springtime. What better time to do a little spring cleaning, right? Hello, Cindy. Cindy is here. She says, hi, Dally. Thanks, and I'll let him know that you said hello. Uh, nee says, I'm having some bananas and a blueberry smoothie. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Hi, Andrea. Oh my gosh. Okay, so um, I didn't realize how much this was going to take up in my blender. So let me blend this down a little bit so that I can fit in uh, the rest of my ingredients, my mango. Are you guys excited? Who wants, who's starting the, uh, the 10 day fruit detox? Who is starting with me? Let me blend this up a little bit. All right. So we got the oranges all blended up. Hello. Hello. Um, Cindy, what, you're, Cindy said hello. Cindy hello. was saying hi. Good morning, everybody. My beautiful How's man. It? How's it going there? What did you just have to eat? Uh, ice cream. Yeah, he had I some. Had some ice cream and some chocolate that I made. Uh, this yesterday. chocolate sauce. Oh my gosh, yeah. Dolly made this chocolate sauce yesterday, and uh, oh god, got, that uh, smells really good. Ten dates. It's got, uh, I'd say maybe one teaspoon of vanilla extract and two tablespoons of uh, cacao powder. Now, uh, as I am researching, I'm finding and that cup and cup of water and a cup of water and blended that up. And it is yummy. It is really good. It smells so de decadent. Cindy says, oh, how I've missed Dolly Boar. <laughs> I here. know. I'm here. Well, I'm going uh, to do some uh, Work outside? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. See you guys. See ya. 
so yeah, he's here. He's always here. Not this round, says Paula, but paying attention, learning, and I would love to at some point, well, Paula, I'm gonna be teaching all of the things that you need to know for when you are ready to start. And surprisingly, we can get a lot of cleaning done without doing a complete 100% fruit. Uh, try to just add in as much fruit as possible to what you're already doing. Try to add in for your other meals as much raw, living, vibrant food. And if you are gonna eat any cooked food, then go, by all means, go ahead and do that, but just make um, really good choices for you know what you're cooking. Try to give up as much meat and animal products as you can, and slowly you're gonna find that that kind of transition program gets you in a place where you're ready. Listen, I wasn't ready two weeks ago to start juicing. I still wanted to enjoy some of the things that I enjoy eating. And what I have found is that when you slowly and deliberately and very consciously just start adding in more of that living food, it becomes something that's really easy to naturally slide into the next level of detox. So adding as much living food as possible, as much fiber as possible. Um, you know, when we do juicing, we eliminate the fiber from our diet and we do that for some very specific and very well uh, research and well understood methods of detoxification. There's nothing wrong with taking out the fiber in your juice to do a, uh, a detox period. It's not a deprivation period. You're giving your digestive system a rest from needing to process the fiber while still getting all of those other nutrients from the food. Giving those the body a chance to rest digestion, especially when we've been overtaxing it with a lot of other processed stuff or cooked food or maybe you know animal products maybe some dairy maybe too much complex carbohydrates sometimes we need to rest our body and our digestive system so that when um so that when our body is rested all of that systemic energy that would have gone to digesting the fiber um that energy is freed up now to take care of the very important work that is required to remove toxins from the body. So uh, right now, but, and that is if you wanna remove the fiber with the juicing, I my focus for this cleanse is going to be all fruit. So for me, that's going to include fruit uh, smoothies like this. It's going to include um, eating, like just eating the, the fruit itself raw but I'm going to mainly be doing, mainly sticking with juicing. So that is one way that you can do it. So I've got four navel oranges in here, three all too full mangoes and four medjool dates. And I'm going to blend that up. Let me get my, my plunger for it. So I love my Vitamix. As you know, you guys know how much I love my Vitamix. And one of the main reasons is because you can use a tamper to really push down, to really push it down. Yes, you can do that, right? You can totally start, uh, Paula says, yes, can do. Yes, you can totally do it. I really needed this transition period into all raw foods, and I, I, and I did it slowly and gradually because you guys know I was adding in some cooked food into my, into my life, and I can't even tell you how grateful I am that I gave myself two beautiful weeks to slowly transition into this because now it's effortless. Now I'm craving and looking for raw food all the time when I'm, when I'm wanting to eat. And it just, it's, it's made a huge difference in how I feel, how my skin looks. No makeup, no makeup. This is my, my true look of my skin, right? No lighting, just the lighting in the room. And, um, you know, I just feel so much better. Uh, just, it's incredible. So even if you wanna just do an all living protocol, um, I, if you're doing that, I would recommend leaving out all nuts and seeds, and that includes heavy, uh, higher fat fruit like avocado. Oh, thank you, Paula. Paula says you look radiant. Thank you so much, honey. I feel radiant. I feel radiant. Yes, indeed. Have you found a place to rent yet? No, but we're going to, instead of find, needing to find a place to rent, we're going to just go Crownland camping in Glenda. 
our vintage glamper for those of you who don't know so i'm very excited about that paula says i need a juicer i'm house sitting no juicer here you can get a really good juicer for a hundred bucks on uh, facebook marketplace seriously look around for them okay i'm going to blend this up loud noise hold on The smell, those all too full mangoes, I've been peeling them and eating them like an apple and they're so ripe. Oh my goodness, let us try this. Wow, that is delicious. really really beautiful i can't wait for this juice cleanse this juice cleanse i keep calling it that that's my default i can't wait for this fruit detox that we're embarking on let me know in the comments if you're watching even if you're watching on the replay let me know in the comments if you want to join it's really easy to join just actually one great place to join to do this is our real juicy detox facebook group Hello, Chata, how are you? Chata says, hi, beautiful, delicious. Which one do I have? I have the Omega 800. She's right over there. I have the Omega 800, and that's a beautiful juicer. It works out to, they're expensive though, I'm not gonna lie. But if you wanna find one that you can just, we're taking this to Mexico when we move to Mexico as well, um, because it's indispensable. We're taking all of our appliances, like our, our, um, our blender, our juicer, our dehydrator, and our food processor. Those are all coming with us as well. Hey, Michael is here. Hi, Michael, how are you doing? Nee says I'm joining in, awesome. Um, so it's gonna be really easy. All you have to do is buy your fruits and fruit it up, baby. You gotta just go for it. I'm gonna be teaching every single day of our juice cleanse, and I'm gonna be showing you guys one new recipe every single day of uh, fruit-based juice that, or smoothie or uh, fruit salad or something that I'm eating that day. For, uh, and although we're eliminating certain things from our diet, this is still eating, right? Even though we're consuming it just drinking, it's still our food. It is actually the food that we were designed to consume. Oh, this is so good. So what's in this this smoothie is four or four large navel oranges. They were about this big. Look at how big that is. Four large navel oranges, three altufo mangoes, and four medjool dates. So I'm gonna drink this whole thing. This is going to be my nutrition for this afternoon. It's gonna take me a while to drink it, but it is so satisfying and so delicious. Every day during the juice cleanse, I'm going to be teaching on different things that you need to know about during your juice cleanse and different things that, um, so different things you need to know about like what detox symptoms you might be experiencing, what are the benefits of detoxing, why juice detoxing. I'm also going to break down the four different types of juice fast that you can do and uh, talking about why this is such an important way to add a, an important thing to add to your healing protocol it's such an important way to heal your body to dig deeper into your body to get more amplified detoxification 
I want to point out a few things which I'll also be going over in the course. This is not a deprivation diet. This is not a calorie restriction diet. We're not doing this to restrict calories. We are still wanting to get in all of the maximum calories that we need in our body in order to fuel it properly. We're not starving ourselves. We should never be hungry. You should always be well satiated. Your bowel should start moving right away because when you're eating all of this beautiful living food, it heals our digestive tract. So that's why we're doing this. And uh, every day I'm gonna be teaching. Usually in the evening, I'm getting together some brand new classes. So uh, I'm really excited to teach on those things. We're gonna be talking all about the lymphatic system. We're gonna be talking about kidney filtration. We're going to be talking about the GI tract and how important it is to clean the GI tract and, and, and what we can do to do that. We're also going to be talking all about um, the endocrine system and a couple of really important things that we need to know about the adrenal glands, the pituitary glands, the two master glands in the body. And we're gonna continue our depth of learning. And I'm really excited to bring this to you. As a, an educator, like I'm actually a qualified teacher, I've taught in Ontario schools for 19 years from junior kindergarten to grade 11 fashion. I love teaching, it is my passion. And combine that with being a certified detox specialist, I'm really, really excited to bring those two um, superpowers together to continue to teach you guys so that we can continue to heal our bodies, to not be afraid of fruit, to understand uh, that we really have the power to tap into our inner world of health and vitality. That's what this is all about. So, uh, you know, that you guys are here along on the journey and that you're going to be uh, jumping on board or maybe just even like Paula, just even watching on the sidelines so that you can know what to expect and you can continue your learning, right? Whether you do your juice or your fruit feast now or later on, these are all just beautiful seeds that I'm planting for you guys so that when you are ready, and you're only ready when you're ready, right? So that when you are ready, you can jump in with confidence and with excitement and not being afraid of anything and not being, you know, second guessing anything. I wanna make sure that you guys have as much information and practical putting into place all of these things so that you can be really successful with it and really healthy in your life. Not just now, but always. Uh, thanks, Paula. Paula says, you no wonder you are a super duper teacher. Yeah, I've had 20 years, almost 20 years of, of doing this. I've been passionate about teaching. I love help. I love seeing light bulbs go on, you know? Uh, that was one of my favorite things about teaching junior kindergarten, junior and senior kindergarten. It was seeing those light bulbs go on, especially when I taught reading. I loved teaching kids how to read and um, I love the process, you know? And I love conveying those little tricks and tips so that you guys can actually have the experience of learning something brand new and having the light bulb go off. Or maybe you already know this information, but you just don't know it on this level. And maybe this is the first time for some of you that you're going to be implementing some of this knowledge into a, like an actual lifestyle because this is not just about do this for 10 days and then everything is gonna be great. You know, this is just kicking off or deepening or going deeper into your detox. Maybe for some people it's just kicking off a detox or just kicking off, hey candy girl, or just kicking off a, um, a more healthy lifestyle. So if that is you, if you're somebody who just wants to feel better and who wants to just, you know, just get this job done, head, uh, head down, blinders on, get this job done, then uh, this might be the perfect time for you. And if it is right now, come on, come on, come on. Let's have some fun. So cheers to you. Here's to summer. Here's to tropical smoothies and beautiful fruit. And by the way, I will see you guys tonight because I have one more class to finish for, um, for our transitioning from a standard American diet into a beautiful living protocol. I have one more class to teach on that, which outlines the different types of menus that you can choose from 
so that you can get yourself fully transitioned into this beautiful, beautiful lifestyle. So I've got one more to class to teach on that tonight. I'll be doing that tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And then tomorrow we start the new course on a 10-day fruit feast to heal your body. Paula says, I have to go, but we'll watch the replay. Oh, you got it all, babe. I'm gone. This is it. I just wanted a quick, a quick little live. I'm going to go sit out on the back deck and enjoy my beautiful mango orange smoothie and enjoy this beautiful day. I love you guys. Mwah.